Boom. We live. I'm so excited. I got so much exciting things going on today. And look at me. I actually prepped everything so you guys don't have to wait for me to level things out. So proud of myself. Shannon, hi! Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Today we're going to fill that table. Kind of. I only have so much resin left for that. So we're going to fill it the best that we can. And then hopefully do all of this cool stuff. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to come in so they don't miss that table part. But I got lots and lots of things going on and lots and lots of colors and some new, some new uh, products we're going to work with. So that's exciting. Hi, Christy. How are you? Welcome. I'm so excited about today. Come on, go up right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're talking about the big, the third one I did on my last live? Because I'll show it to you guys tonight. Hi, Michael. Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. <sighs> Let's see. Hi, Terry. How are you? Thank you, thank you. Let me show you guys something cool. Check out these necklaces. Let me get behind the camera and make sure you actually see them. Come on, don't tangle up. Oh, that lighting though. It's kind of hard to tell. This is actually one of my favorites. I don't know if you can see it. I hate it when the camera does this. This one's funky. Oh well, I gave up, but that's pretty cool. Got yeah, lots of them. How about now? Oops. Better? Can you see me now? Okay. Sorry about that. I told you, I get glitches all the time. Okay, we're back. Let's do this. Let's start, because we have a lot going on. Um, I'm going to start with the table. Uh, we're going to fill it up, as in like clear coat everything, so everything's level. I only have so much left of the countertop, so we're just going to use it all. And if it's enough, it's enough. If not, I just ordered some today, so I should get it back in like two days or so and then I can finish it but we're gonna be working over here I'll bring it closer in a minute actually I changed my mind let me pan you up a little bit while I mix I'm so excited for this Jojo! Oh my god, Jojo, I missed you so much. How are you? Ooh, holy moly. <gasps> Two 
you by floor. See, I got so excited, I almost busted my butt. All right. Let's mix this. Didn't exactly leave myself a lot of space in that, did I? <laughs> I'm very graceful. <laughs> almost down the motorcycle. That's what happens when JoJo shows up after not seeing her in a long time or talking to her in a long time. I was going to use this, but I think I have more than this, so we're going to use the big bucket. That's the thing about lives, you can't edit them. You bust your butt, you bust your butt, you keep on going. I know, Joe, I haven't been calling much. It's been crazy around here, but I'll call you one of these days, promise. Come on. The other day I made this star out of the leftovers from the table and it came out really cool and I almost want to incorporate it in the table but I think it's too big. Paper towel gets stuck to the like the wood edges, and we don't want that. This is gonna be so cool. And then after we finish this, I gotta figure out what kind of legs I want to put underneath it. And then I was thinking of maybe putting some lights underneath it also, because that would be really neat at night. Who was me to Heather? Oh, Michael, play nice. Shannon, the difference between using a torch and a heat gun is uh, obviously with the torch you have a lot more heat coming out and it just instantly kills the bubbles very, very fast. The reason why I use the heat gun for the other things is uh, because I'm spread, using it to actually spread the color, which you can't really do with the, with the torch. Yeah, what Nightstone said. This 
may be enough. I kind of hope it is. Where's Dateless at? He ain't here. He's probably eating cake. That's what he's doing. Hi, Jess. How are you, baby girl? Oh, boy. Come on. Yeah. About that. And the crappy part is I can't even, like, pre-mix it before we go live. Because then it starts to get into the work time of it. This. This is. Yeah, one gallon. But I only had like this much left of it from two days ago. Oh, I thought you were eating cake. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, friends. How are you, dear? Yay, you guys are here. I'm so excited. It was so cold here today that I literally did not think I was going to be able to do a live because it was way too cold for my resin. So I actually went out and got a space heater just to warm up the area so that I can go live because I love you guys. Oh, come on. I don't have patience. It says I'm at two and a half liters or like 84 ounces or so. Yes, they did make a big difference. They literally brought the temperature up like 10 degrees in here. It's now at 76 and I hope I don't lose any heat because I didn't want to have it running while we're live because you can actually hear it and that would be annoying. When you guys get a chance, check out Dateless Concepts on Facebook. Check out his page. He's doing some really cool stuff right now. Really, really cool stuff. Kind of jealous a little bit. Just a touch. <laughs> nice song. You mean an air conditioner? <laughs> The most I've ever mixed at once. What we're working on is we're gonna hopefully finish up the table today. Um, I hope I have enough resin. If not, then we'll do what we can today, and then whenever I get my next batch of resin, then I'll finish it. So yeah, that's our first project, and then I have a table full of canvases that I want to put all the colors on. A hundred and eighteen degrees. Oh buddy. Have patience, I'm trying. And Michael, what you said earlier about making these for the seafood festival, yeah, I have a bunch of different kinds and all kinds of stuff, so I'll work on that too. 
The show was good. It was good. I didn't sell much, but it was a great experience. I met like an awesome, awesome bunch of people, and it made me not be so nervous. Like once you get that first one out of the way, then you're like, I'm ready for the second. So it was, it was just an awesome, awesome learning experience. There wasn't much traffic there. It was a very like small show that I don't think many people knew about, but it was great. Thank you for asking. Almost there, almost there. Making like the biggest batch of pancakes or something. <laughs> That's what the consistency of it feels like. Oh, thank you. And for those of you that were watching the other night, I was actually upset because remember I ran out of cups and I couldn't level it fully correctly? And it moved. It moved a lot and I lost a lot of the cells, but at the same time, it still kind of stayed cool. And according to Christina and Michael, they look, it looks like a and I see it too. It looks like a dragon head, like, spitting fire. It's kind of cool. I'm just bummed about the cells. Alrighty. Y'all ready for this? No, no, no. I'm going to bring it closer. Fingers crossed. That good right there? I'm nervous, I'm nervous. All right. Good luck, buddy. As I said, it's probably not enough to cover the whole thing, but it's all I got. Come on, you can do it. enough. I have plenty of the art resin. I just don't think mixing them would be a good idea. But wait, there's more. All right, that's all she wrote. I know, I know. 
Torch, I know. Please remind me to come back and hit it again in a little bit. Uh, that's Tyvek tape, and it's the one tape that does not stick to resin. So when this all cures and hardens up, all I gotta do is unscrew the screws that are keeping this together, and it should pop right up. Remind me in 10 minutes, Dateless, please. Thank you. But it's pretty. Definitely two different rivers. Like I said, I'm sure when I pop it out, it's going to be a lot lighter and a lot more see-through. It's just because it's covered right now. So, for those of you that were here two days ago when I went live, I kept talking about Maya, Maya, Maya. Ta-da! She's not, she's not big, but she's pretty. I'm going to make sure you guys can see her. Lighting's not the greatest. But apparently I have a thing for making dragons because I don't know if you see his eyeball right here. And then like this is his head, that's his mouth, bottom lip, and then the rest of his body. And then the one from last night or two nights ago, it goes like this. And see, here's his head and his nose and his eyes and the top of his head and then the bottom of his mouth and then boom, flame. Thank you, Jojo. Thank you, guys. Which one, Christina? The one from two nights ago or Maya? Okay. Oh yeah, she's my favorite and she is not for sale. She's probably my best piece ever. Which other one, Ida? Are you talking about the sample that I made? The one that I hate with a passion, but you want to see it? <laughs> OK. 
okay, okay. I hid him, okay? I don't like him, so I he's hidden. There you go. I can bring him closer. I'm ashamed of this. Why, why are you making me show it? <laughs> I'm not a fan. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Yes, that one, my ugly duckling. It just, it's mainly because it didn't come out how I envisioned it in my head. That's why. Hi, Dopa. What's up? What's up? Welcome to the party. All right. So basically, because it's been caca outside for the last, like, week or so, weather-wise, and it's been dark and dreary, and I hate it, I just want to work with all the colors today. Well, almost all the colors. So I have new products I haven't used yet mixed with old products and we're going to play with it all and see what happens. So I think I'm going to start this way. I kind of wanted to make these like a together thing instead of two separate pieces. So I am gonna, Terry, I'm gonna try to fix it somehow. I'm gonna try to like keep what it is now and just kind of do something like clear and then do something on top of it and see what happens. I don't know. But for right now, he and I are fighting, so we're not talking. Uh, well. Okay, so I'm going to bring you in closer once I start working. I usually just keep it panned out while I'm talking. Then once I actually get done mixing, then I bring you guys in much closer so you can, so you can see what I'm doing. Are those custom? Uh, I bought them as soon as I remember, I'll message you, okay? I'll let you know where I bought them, but I, I got them online. Clear, clear, clear. Okay, ducks. So, my initial thing that I wanted to do is on one of these, I wanted to work with purple and yellow. And then on the other one, I wanted to work with orange and blues. Um, and I got all kinds of oranges and purples and yellows and everything. So, we're going to mix it all up and just have a party. Okie dokes, as far as this goes, let's go with Again, I'm working with some colors I've never worked with before, so we'll see what happens. I kind of want to try all the shimmers. I got some um, Lumineers, they're made by Lumineer, and some epoxy candy. And I'm excited to use them. I'll let you know what I'm using as I as I mix them. Who's winning? Vikings or Broncos right now? Is it still on? Because I thought they were playing earlier, weren't they? Let's 
Yeah, the molds are fun. Fun, fun, fun. I think we're just gonna mix all these little, cause there's different kinds. There is semi-opaque, opaque tint that doesn't have shimmer. And then there's the shimmer tints. Ah, gotcha. Cause I swear I thought they were playing earlier on TV. All right, let's do the thing. This particular brand of epoxy, probably six or seven months now. It's not the only one that I work with, but it is my preferred one. Second below that is um, Art Resin. The company is Art Resin. Um, but yeah, these guys, these guys are amazing. I used to, when I first started, I used to use, um, oh, what is it called? What is it called? Chromarine. And it's great for somebody that's first starting out because it's a lot cheaper and it's not a bad resin, but if you have any clear spots and you're not mixing it with some sort of color, it yellows. It yellows and not only does it yellow, but it yellows very fast. Um, so just if you do decide to use that, be careful because it will happen. Thank you, Terry. You're always on top of it. What Nightstone said. I can't wait to see what you're doing, Jojo. Listen, I haven't I haven't done lives. I haven't really done a lot of work either, so I get it. <coughs> Sometimes we get in that funk. But once you get back at it, it comes right back to you. It's like writer's block, but resin block. happens to all of us. Jojo's in Australia. Where hopefully I get to go one of these days soon. I mean, those tests that they do is literally with just the clear resin. I think if you put a bunch of color into it, it won't be as noticeable, even you know, if it yellows. But like I said, for beginners, work with that. 
work with that until you get very comfortable with what you're doing and then invest the money in the more expensive stuff. Mwah! Love you, Jojo! Yeah, there's millions of res no, not millions, but there's a lot of resins out there. Definitely. I do like the work time of our resin, though. It gives you a nice work time. And I feel like it's thinner in viscosity versus the art resin of stone coat. Gonna have to go. Blue crystal or indigo crystal? They pretty much look the same, except indigo is darker. Which one do you choose? One's gotta go. Rejected. You're off the island. Okay. They're all so pretty. Why is this so difficult? Sorry, but you gotta go too. I hate that. I feel like I'm on the voice and I'm voting, voting everybody off. <laughs> A lava table. Because we had black background two days ago, we're going with white this time. Just so I can see the colors pop more.
guys, it's down to 74. No bueno. I have to start that heater in a little bit. Mother of God. I did not just do that. Today's just one of those days. I almost did it and I almost said it. Hi, amazing. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. Welcome, welcome. Sometimes it slips, what can you do? Uh, thank you, amazing. We filled in the table that I did a couple of days ago. I don't know if you were here for that, but I can show you really quick. It's my first one ever, ever, ever. I'm pretty excited about it. So, as soon as that comes out of the mold and it's nice and cured, you guys will be the first to know and see. And now we're on to the second project, which I almost made a huge mess out of. Okay, so the first one I'm using is Sunset Gold by Lumineer. In case you guys want to use them. Come on. Uh, anyway. Very rich. If you guys want me to break it out of the mold live, I can. Sure. If not, I was just going to break it and then level it because it still needs the last sanding. And then I have that other stuff from Stone Coat for like wax on, wax off at the end. This looks like this. Why won't my camera focus today? What is wrong with you? Second one is called Halo Blue Gold, which sounds really cool. Also by Lumineer. I think I'm saying it wrong. I think it's Lumiere. Uh, 
Ah, cake time. Cake time for dateless. Thank you, Michael. Oh, dateless, why are you giving my, away my secrets? What are you talking about? I never swear, ever. Telling on me and whatnot. I thought we were tight. That's pretty dope. I'm a fan. Dateless, you know it's nice to share with the class, you know. Over here making us all hungry. Brownies. called pearlescent turquoise. Fancy. Same. L Lumiere. Sorry, I've been butchering their name this whole time. Carbonated water is the best kind. Yes, yes. Let me bring it a little bit closer because I feel like it's because of the lighting that this thing won't focus properly. <sighs> Look how pretty that is. And I'm trying to watch out for all the obstacles so I don't bust my butt again. Right? That's really pretty. This one is called Orange Crystal, and it's a shimmer tint by Epoxy Candy. As I drop the thing in it. I am a mess today. Should have stayed in bed. It's kind of transparent. Oh, wow. Sparkles. Come on, camera. Do you see the sparkles in there? called Yellow Crystal Shimmer Tint Epoxy Candy. I'm not sure about these if they're going to clog. It's actually my first time using them. But we're going to find out. Sometimes the alcohol inks do that. Sometimes. Sparkles. It's got actual glitter in it. It's nice. I like that. But then again, you know me. I like sparkly anything. And this is Indigo Crystal Shimmer Tint Epoxy Candy. You should. These are pretty bomb. I like them. I 
Oh, look, you just asked and this one's already stuck. This is that blue that you used in yours in your painting, Heather. That dark, dark blue. Oh my god, that's so funny, Christina. We said it at the same time. Ha, ha. right here, right here. Welcome to the party. Yeah, I love this blue. This blue is super, super nice. Plus, sparkles. If you haven't done it already, do me a favor. If you're watching this and you enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. That'd be awesome sauce. Thank you. All right, so that's what we're working with on this first one. And some white. It's a beautiful blue. It really is. Oh my goodness, Tim, what's up, man? Long time no here. How's life? Hope everything's good. That's awesome. Congratulations, man. I'm very happy for you. Seriously. Are you still local? Oh, soon. Nice. We'll be neighbors. Well, close. For everybody that doesn't know, Tim is a ex coworker of mine. We used to work at Skorsky together for 10 years. We go way back. Which one? Because I've had two already. I almost busted my butt one time, and then I uh, did that. <laughs> Today's full of surprises. What are you talking about? It wasn't going to be an F-bomb. <laughs> I was talking to Mary. Let's do this, let's do this. Too much talking. More arting.
Michael, play nice. Alright. You know the drill. I've got no plan. We're just doing it. Let me double glove real quick. Aw, thanks Tim. Thank you, thank you. No, but I'll definitely try it one of these days. No glove, no love. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Ida. I can't wait to see what you make. Alrighty. Fingers crossed. Triple glove. Jojo, when you come over here, we should definitely do a countertop together. I think that would be dope. <laughs> Joe, you're hilarious. I actually need to buy more gloves too. I'm running out. And cups and all kinds of stuff. My stock's getting low. Awesome sauce, Jojo. If you actually make it down here for, uh, uh, what do you call it? The Renaissance Festival, like we've been talking about? That would be amazing. And then you would get to meet my Michael down here. Uh, his name on here is Cheech. And then Christina sister because they go there too and Heather all my peeps all of them I'm really curious to see how much this actually shimmers. Yes. Oh, if she's coming down here at that time, I am taking her for sure. Oh, 
we gotta get her in garb because it's a must. bring you guys closer because you're kind of missing out on the details let me see let me see Ooh, that's pretty. Is that better? They're a little thin for my liking, kind of, kind of see-through-ish, but let's keep going. Yay, we got 20 people in the house, what's up? Thank you guys for being here. It means a lot. If you haven't already, please hit that um thumbs up button for me. Please, please. Stop humming before YouTube shuts me down for humming something. Nice, Kathy. That's awesome. Thanks, Jojo.
That's hilarious, Terry. You need a video of that. I can't tell if it's the yellow or the indigo that is really loving the white cell wise. No, we are losing some color over here. I'm not digging this corner right here. So, let's fix it. Apparently I'm not digging half of the painting actually, because <laughs> that just got crazy. The blue is a box of candy. So, so, I can't save this. I feel like I muddied it. Alright, I'm 
I'm just gonna let it chill. I should stop, right? Christina, I'm afraid that if I push towards the middle, I'll ruin other cells that are already nice there. Okay, dokes. That's that. And we'll check back on this in a little bit. Sorry. Okay, buddy. Good luck. Don't lose cells. I got faith in you. <clears throat> I like the shimmer. At the very end, before I go, I'll bring you guys in so you can see it really nice with all of them. <clears throat> But now I'm going to use the leftovers and I'm going to make some shells and stuffs. Because these are going to be pretty. That color is amazing. All of these colors are really pretty. I like them individually. It's just that I feel like they get a little lost on the canvas. They're a little too, too transparent for my liking. Oh, hey, hey. You guys still there? I got quiet. Okay, cool, thank you. Thanks, Tim. I think, <clears throat> okay, so question. I'm doing purple yellow on one, blue orange on another. Um, do you think the smaller one should be purple yellow or the smaller one should be blue and orange? I'll let you guys pick a canvas. This one's two foot by three foot and this one is Eighteen by twenty four inches. <laughs> Can you hear us yell? Okie dokes. Okie dokie. Thank 
you, like, all of you guys for tuning in and watching. Seriously. It makes my night. Because I get to hang out with some of my favorite peeps. Almost done, almost done. I just really don't want to waste this. The colors are really pretty. You out, Joe? Who's, who left? Did somebody? Oh, Tim left. Bye, Tim. Um, I'm mixing a bunch of different colors for the next two, so some are going to be see-through, some, some are going to be mica powders, so we're working with something a little bit more solid on the next one. Alright, let's tackle blue and orange then. Do we like the lighter blue or the darker blue between these two blues? One's almost like sea foamy, that lighter one. Done. Sounds good. It's so weird because these are both saffron by just resin. This is the paste. Where's the paste? There's the paste. This is the powder. Same color, but they don't look like the same color. Not really. Those boom, 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 three. Oh, I do have a question. Jojo, you might be able to answer this one. Um, 
Just resin? The color ultramarine pink? Have you gotten it? Because it says pink. Whoops. Why won't you focus? Anyway, look at that color. Is that supposed to be that color? thinking um they put the wrong label on it or something because otherwise it doesn't make any sense to me all right got three blues two oranges and let's do this Good. It had a couple more bubbles. If you want to see it, I'll show you again. Bam. I am so excited about this. It's ridiculous. I'm seriously so excited to take that table out. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it in the resin that it's cold in here. <sighs> 73, we dropped another degree. I should turn that on. I definitely need an assistant. 
this could be already done and then I can just go boom, boom, boom. But at the same time, at least it shows you guys how long everything takes. Because people ask me all the time, how long does it take you to make a piece? And I swear the longest part is this. So no boom boom boom. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so if anybody wants to work for me, I pay in smiles. <laughs> Hi Jojo. Love you. Very cool, Sherry. Very cool. It freaking counts for sure. Absolutely. God, I can't wait till that live. People are in trouble, man. That day. Yep, ain't that the truth, Dateless, ain't that the truth. Because even before I started this live today, I'm like, oh, no, no biggie. I'll, I'll be live for like an hour and a half, look at where we are, and I'm not even halfway. But then again, I'm talking a lot too. So, maybe less talky-talky would help. <laughs> Alright, we're there. I'm gonna try not to do any um, spillage this time around. Just for giggles, I'm going to use both of the saffrons just to see the difference, if there is one. Let it go. So we pretty much lost all the cells on this one. Sucky. Well, maybe, just maybe, I'll bring some stuff down when I come down there on Wednesday. I do have some Pro Marine left we can play with. That's the stuff that I was saying that it yellows over time. 
But if you mix it with color, you should be alright. Ooh. Don't understand why my camera is being retarded, but anyway, it's pretty. Take my word for it. Oh, shoot, that's right. You won't be here. Man, next time. You rushing me, Dateless? Huh? Huh? You rushing perfection? What are you doing? Christmas gift for you too. Ha ha. I swear all these three oranges look exactly the same. Yes, the saffron is probably one of my favorite colors. Or is probably my favorite color in the collection. And then Magic Blue is my second favorite. This is Bitter Orange by Epoxy Candy. It's very orangey. Super in your face. Ugh, the saffron is to die for. This is the paste one. I'm not really sure what it's. There we go. So now for the moment of truth, let's see. This is the powder, and I think it's a little bit darker. I mean, it looks probably the same to you guys, but right next to each other, this one looks a little bit darker. This is Magic Blue, the one that I was just talking about. And it's pretty amazing, I gotta tell you. It's my favorite blue in their collection. Nice! Welcome back, Jojo. So I'll just say so thank you. You ready for this? But are you ready, ready? Magic Blue just resin. Uh, 
And of course it's not going to be clear. Why would it be clear? In any case, it's pretty magical. Right? This is turquoise and it's the powder form. Most people go nuts for their breakfast at Tiffany's, which is really nice. But like I said, I like the darker tones of the blues. Oh, wow. What was this? God, I wish it would clear. I apologize. Not sure what's happening because my camera hasn't done that in a long time. I used to do that all the time in the beginning. So I gotta check my settings again. Where'd it go? Where did it go? This one. This is that one that you guys chose as the darker one. It's called Cold Rain Blue by Epoxy Handy. Um, <laughs> wow. Literally the, <laughs> the whole thing just went in. Top and all. Gotta love today. Christina, you ain't gotta point it out, girl. We all saw it. <laughs> I was literally in shock just now. <laughs> yes, amazing. I agree. I agree. Stop laughing at me, Christina. I can hear you from here. Both of y'all. Struggle is real today. <laughs> That's funny, night so <laughs> I bet. I bet it looked really funny. I literally was in shock. <laughs> okay. I believe it, nice time. Yeah, Joe, just watch the replay. I had my, what, third, fourth oopsie of the night? But this one was not my fault at all. You're gonna have to draw it up for me, Christina. So I can see what you mean.
Who's keeping count, right, Michael? Just kidding. At least y'all were entertained. You got to see all the bloopers. How many of you guys are arting at the same time? I swear I don't normally have that many blooper moments in one episode, but hey, today was a special occasion, I guess. That was for Sherry. <laughs> Nice, Jojo. Nice, Ida. Ugh, this resin is so thick. Thank you, Megan. Nice, Terry. Oh, God, nice, John. That's terrible. I've had that happen before. Thank you guys. I'm trying to laugh at it all so I don't cry. Oh man, I just realized these are dolphin colors.
That's not selling at all. You're right, Michael. Rocky will. The first orange was epoxy candy, the second one is just resin. <clears throat> I feel like the orange is selling, but the blues are not. Yes, Jerry, it's so cool how to talk uh, the base white. Not a fan, not a fan. What is happening to me today, guys? like I forgot how to resin. Well, the next time I need to make a cloud or something, that's pretty cool. You're right, Night Sound. I'm so used to the products I normally use that I'm not used to something not working. Also, I think the temperature might have a lot to do with this because it is 73 degrees. I agree, John.
fired up because it's loud, like I said. And that's going to be more annoying for you guys than anything. So we'll just see what happens here. <clears throat> Um, I don't really tip resin pieces either. It's more for like, uh, I mean you can. I just don't really do it. It's more for uh, acrylic, po acrylic pores. If I tip it, I'll lose all my cells. That's right, Dateless. I'm no tilter. know what to do I really just don't I'm not a fan right now so I don't know where to take it Aw, oh, Christina, why you always see cool things in the things I hate? Because <laughs> now it makes me like it. <laughs> people help me out what am I doing where am I going where am I putting color something I need help Okie dokes. I'm not going to add yellow simply because I'm using yellow in my other one with the blue. Okay, John.
I'm trying to balance it, Ida. I'm trying to balance it. Little by little. You guys still there? I thought I lost you. Keep going. What do I do next? Nothing here? Leave it alone. Nothing here. <laughs> Dude, let's stop. I don't think I should keep going tonight, especially not on such a large piece because I truly feel I'm going to mess it up. So, what I can do now, Dave, plus I'm not a swiper, but.
But I'm gonna start swiping because I've never done it and I'm curious. And I've seen some really cool stuff coming out of swiped pieces. Um, you just giving away all my secrets tonight, man. What's up with that? Ugh. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna keep going tonight, but if you guys feel like it, I can meet you back here tomorrow, same time, and I will crank this thing up as high as it will go. And hopefully it's, I don't even know what the weather's supposed to be like, but hopefully it's warmer. So, what do you guys think about that, <laughs> Michael? Hell yeah. Thank you, Sherry. I usually come up with better pieces, but now we know how the temperature can affect your resin. Um, certain colors out of the epoxy sell the others just don't. And I know it's not the white because I always use this the same white and you guys have seen me make crazy cells with that. Um, I'm going to rethink what I'm using tomorrow as far as which paste, which um, powders, which whatever. And uh, hopefully we'll get some killer selling because I'm due for some. So that's it. And thank you. And oh, yeah, tomorrow. Hello, it's going to be ready. It's going to be ready gonna be ready I'm so excited we can take it out together so yeah okie dokes thank you Michael <laughs> that's actually I think what time is that at 71 oh thank you amazing thank you thank you I do have a lot more videos and on my YouTube channel, if you ever want to watch something else where I don't, like I said, make so many hiccups. But, um, night dateless. Thank you for being here. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to make some magic. Good night, everybody. All of you guys, thank you for hanging out. And, yeah, I learned a lot today, to be honest with you. I learned a lot. So, we'll do it again tomorrow. If you haven't already, hit that like button for me, please. It means the world. All right? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.